Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Emily Freibler. So today's video is going to be an Ulta haul. I'm so excited for this. I wanna get back into filming some more like makeup videos. So I placed an order on Ulta and we're gonna do reviews again. But I wanted to first do a haul, show you what I got, and then I'll kind of tell you what kind of videos I'm looking to do. So let's dive into it. If you're new here, make sure to give the video a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe to my channel. And let's go ahead and get started. So first things first, I have naturally curly hair or like wavy curly hair, especially in this back section. And I love wearing my hair naturally wavy as well as obviously styling it. So I got two different, um, they're called like air dry creams. I wanted something that I could use on days where I like don't feel like doing the whole shebang when it comes to my curls, like, you know, putting gel and scrunching and all that kind of stuff and diffusing and something that would like make my curls look good when I air dry. So I got two different ones. They're at quite different price points. I believe this one's like $26, $28. It is a bigger bottle. And then this one is more around like the teens, like 12, 13 or something. So the first one is the Kristen S Wheatless Shine Air Dry Cream for all hair types. So this isn't just for curly hair. Uh, this is for anybody. It says it is frizz calming, shine restoring, softening and smoothing and obviously time saving. So I'm excited to try this one. The directions on this one say that you're supposed to wait until your hair is like uh, halfway air dried until your like natural wave pattern starts to form and then put this in where this one this is the curl smith weightless air dry cream this is a leave-in conditioner for all hair types easy dry smooth um smooth soften and seals the cuticles so this one actually says to, I think it says wet hair, apply to soaking wet hair after washing right through to ensure you're evenly coating all strands. Then um, use a praying hands method to smooth all locks down, seal the moisture in and tame the cuticles for best results and definition, air dry and use a combination with the Curl Smith Hydro Style Flexi Jelly, which I wouldn't do. I did use this one once so far. My results were pretty good. This back section of my hair is the curliest, so like that worked the best. I have not tried this one yet, and I'm definitely going to film a video where I like put these ones head to head and show you kind of how my hair looks just air drying and if I would recommend them if it's better than like, you know, just doing my normal routine. So that's my idea for these ones, and it just, if I can have an easy like time while actually making my hair look good, why not do it? So they actually messed up part of my order. Um, I have some foundations that I wanna review and do like a mini Foundation Friday series. If you're new here, I did a whole Foundation Friday series last year where I reviewed like, I think it was like eight different foundations. I did individual videos for all of them and then did a roundup at the end. So I wanna do something similar, but there's not as many new foundations out right now. So anyway, I'm gonna do like a mini version. But the True Match line got a new super blendable foundation, or I think it's new, and I ordered N3 and they gave me N6, which is way too dark for my skin tone, as you can see. So I gotta take that back to Ulta. Okay, this one I'm excited about. This is the Revlon Illuminant Skin Caring Foundation with 5% squalene and hyaluronic acid, or squalene hyaluronic acid. Um, it says it's makeup and skincare in one, medium coverage, natural finish, reduces the appearance of wrinkles over time and de deeply hydrates skin. I don't know about the minimizes appearance of wrinkles over time thing, but I'm excited to try this and see if I have a Revlon foundation that I like again. I haven't had one in a while, so we'll see how that one goes. The last foundation is the Maybelline Super Stay Hybrid Powder Foundation. So I like their regular powder foundation, but this one is supposed to be like a, I don't know, like a liquid powder almost. It says it's a full coverage hybrid powder foundation with long lasting matte finish, up to 24 hour wear, weightless and comfortable feel, it's sweat resistant and water resistant. So I'm really intrigued to try this. So many people have been raving about this. Um, I know on social media, so I'm excited to try it. And also it's sold out a lot everywhere. So I didn't get my normal shade, but this one actually looks pretty good. So I got 130. Now I want to do another series kind of like the foundation one with a few different other products. So one of them is powders. So I have, 
four different powders to share with you guys. And this one from CoverGirl, Cover Girl, it said it was new on Ulta, but I don't know if they just like changed the formula or not. It says now talc and fragrance free. So maybe they just like changed it a little bit, but I want to try it. This is the CoverGirl Clean Invisible Loose Powder. Um, I got the shade Translucent Light. So it's one of these loose powders. So we'll see how that goes. Then this really intrigued me. Physician Formula is really leaning into their butter line. If you've never tried the butter bronzer, that one's really good. Um, this is their Muru Muru, Muru Butter Press Powder in the shade Translucent Glow. So it's supposed to have a glow to it and I'm interested to see if this is somewhat similar to the elf halo glue halo glow loose setting powder that I absolutely love if it's kind of like that and in a compact form I feel like I'm gonna love it because overall I like compact powders better just for the convenience sake lately but I do love loose powders so it kind of depends and then Wet n Wild's powders are my favorite. I love a pressed powder from them. I love their Photo Focus Loose Setting Powder as well. And this is new. This is their Wet n Wild 5-in-1 Essence Primer and Finish Power Powder. Why can't I speak today? Powder. Up to 16-hour wear. Um, it says it smooths, conditions, refines, pores, balances, and it's supposed to be for pre and post makeup, which I don't know how that works, but... I'm very interested to try this one out as well. And then the last powder, like I said, they messed up my order, but this one was a good one. They gave me two of these. So I'll give this to a friend or family member. Um, but this is the Milani Conceal and Perfect Blur Out Powder in the shade Translucent. And they literally just gave me two without charging me for it. It was weird. And then I have four different like let's call them skin enhancers. Um, so this e.l.f. one I've seen so many people rave about and it's been like sold out a lot of places, hard to get your hands on, but I got it. It's the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter and I got the shade two, Fair Light. Uh, they have a bunch of different shades of this. So this is kind of like a very, very light tint with a glow to it, which I thought would be great. And then this one also sounds similar, but I can't really tell until I try some of these, you know? So this is the Undone Beauty, which I love some of their products. They have their Sheer Radiance Serum Tint Enhancing Wand Lit From Within Glow. So this is also supposed to have a glow. It's a brightening serum with micro or light enhancing micro pigments that magically conceals, highlights, and contours. So we'll see how that one works. This one's supposed to have like a sponge applicator or something. And then this one also seems similar. And all of these, I will also probably include the Lumi Glotion because that one is a fan favorite of mine. And then even the e.l.f. Halo Glow sunscreen, which if you watched my other haul, my Target haul, that Halo Glow sunscreen from e.l.f., I told you I would like let you know how it is fantastic you guys I have it on today under my makeup I absolutely love it I've been wearing it every single day and it's just 10 out of 10 doesn't sting my eyes and I have very sensitive skin when it comes to sunscreens so this is the butter glow liquid highlighter from physicians formula I'm very intrigued to see if this is like an actual highlight or if this is kind of like the Lumi Glotion I love the packaging of this I think it's really pretty so I got the shade glow i don't know if there's another shade or not i can't remember so we'll see how that one is as well and then last but not least this is kind of in the same category in my opinion because i feel like all of these you could wear alone or under makeup and this one i'm so intrigued about because i do self tan my face with the tanologist extra dark tanning drops i absolutely love them but i use that maybe twice a week but in between you know my um I use a lot of chemical exfoliants, so my tan wears off very quickly. And some days, you know, I just don't have time to tan my face or don't want to tan my face. So these ones I'm so intrigued about. These are the Indeed Laboratories Nano Bronze Bronzing Drops. So you basically add these into moisturizer and then it'll give your skin an automatic bronze look to it, but it's not like a self tanner. So it'll do it immediately. So that's like really intriguing to me. These aren't, this isn't like exactly the same category as those, but I'm intrigued with this, especially for like the summertime. 
Okay, now I have three more individual products um, to share with you guys. This one looked really interesting to me. This is the Wet n Wild Brow Maximizer. This is their new powder and gel duo for brows. It's like powder and gel, so I figured I could do a little video on that and try it out. And then this one I'm really intrigued by. This is the e.l.f. Lash and Roll Mascara Curling and Lifting um, Mascara, which is kind of like the... Um, shoot, what is that called? Benefit one, I think maybe? Roller Lash. I feel like this is similar to that, so I'm going to try this out for a video. And then e.l.f. also came out with a Luminous Putty Bronzer, and they don't have the same shades as the other ones, I don't believe, but I did get a light medium shade, and I figured I could put it up to the other bronzer from them that I love, the putty bronzer that's not luminous and see the difference um, in a video. So let me know what you think of these video ideas. That is it for my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in a video very, very soon. Bye guys.